What is going on friends? My name is Mark Denny and today we're talking about something that always gets me fired up. Let me first wrap a little context around this. This fall I'm headed to the Out of Acadia Landscape Photography Conference in Acadia National Park. I use this trip as a springboard into my need or, or desire or want into filling a, a void in my camera bag lineup. So what I mean by filling a gap, right now I have a Osprey hiking bag, which is a 65 liter that I use for overnight trips. I also have a Mindspring 26 liter and the Mindspring 18 liter that I use as my daily bag. I did a review on that one a few weeks ago. So I was trying to fill a void between the 65 liter and the 26 liter pack. So I'm looking for something in that 35 to maybe 50 liter range. I ended up going with the f-stop Anjana line but just not just the normal Anjana bag I wanted the Red Bull photography edition which is actually pretty hard to get your hands on. I've been searching for it all year long they finally came back online about three days ago I scooped one up as fast as I possibly could and it just arrived the other day. Now this is the first f-stop bag I've ever owned and what really drew me into their lineup is their use of what's called an ICU or internal camera unit and any of you that have been following me for a while know that uh, I have a fear or paranoia about checking my camera gear on a flight. Although the 40 liter bag is airline compatible, you never know when you're going to get on a flight that's a little bit smaller than your average plane and you'll actually have to check your bag. And the cool thing about the ICU is you can remove it from the bag and just check the actual bag and keep all your most valuable camera gear with you on the flight. And that's a huge benefit. So F-Stop makes the ICU in various different sizes depending on the size of your kit. There's a, um, a large pro, a large, a medium, a small, a shallow. I went with the large pro which retails for uh, $99 which might seem a little steep, but tell if the quality is there, it's worth it. Um, it looks like it's made of pretty nice water resistant material. There's latches on the side here, which uh, you use to anchor the ICU inside the bags. On the inside here is all the various camera compartments, which of course are all very customizable to fit your specific kit. And the cool thing is, what I was saying earlier, if um, if you're ever in a pinch and you need to remove this out of your bag, you just simply just unlatch it from the bag and pull this right out. You can also get different sizes of these depending on what activity you're doing. So you don't have to change out your bag, you just simply change out the ICU. Now for the main event. Like I said earlier, this got here a couple days ago and it's been absolutely killing me not to open this. I wanted to make this video first. So uh, let's jump right in. So what makes it the, the Red Bull Photography Edition is the color scheme. Oh, holy crap. Man, nothing beats the smell of new photography gear or a new photography bag. So the color scheme is what makes it the Red Bull Photography Edition. It's this uh, maroon color and the gray color. I saw it and oh, man, am I glad I waited for it. I almost got a little impatient a few weeks ago and just went with one of the other colors, but God, am I glad I stayed with this color. So one of the cool features of this bag is the material that it's made of. It's um, it's extremely water resistant. It has a, I believe it's called a Kotec Hypalon base. I had no idea what that was, but I looked it up and it's an extremely water resistant material. It's also made of ripstop nylon. Once again, had no idea what that was, but I dug into it further. It's actually the same material that's used in parachutes. So this is a serious adventuring bag. There's no tearing this bag. As you can see, it's got a very nice harness, very good quality. You have a waist strap here as well. Um, up here at the top, See, and it looks like all the zippers are uh, water sealed as well. There's a mesh pocket here that you can put um, small essentials. There's also a a key a uh, a keychain removal item, or I should say latching mechanism, which is always a nice plus. That way you know your keys are always in the last place you left it, which is a great thing. There are pockets on the side. And you can actually store your tripod in these as well. You can stuff one leg in here, leave the other two hanging out, and then strap it down. Or you can use it to put um, jacket, clothing, anything like that. And there's also another one on the other side. You don't have to use this pocket to store your tripod. I've seen it actually done where you can just uh, strap it to the side. But if you wanted to, the option is there. There's also another pocket across the front of it here. Let's see. That's a big pocket as well. God, this is a nice bag. You got the F-Stop logo there. And there's another pocket here 
at the very top. And this is to access the, uh, the main compartment here. And uh, it also has a water bladder inside, which is super cool too. I'm not a big fan of using water bladders with uh, photography bags, but the option is there if you wanna do it. You just put it in here, and then it has the, uh, the routing cables and the mechanisms to uh, route it out the, the hose out the front, which is a good feature if that's what you want. You can also use this pocket here to store a 13 inch laptop computer if you so desire. It also has an aluminum frame, so it's super lightweight yet very sturdy. Now here is the, uh, the back panel here, and this is how you're gonna access your, your camera gear. So let me just move this out of the way. And this opens up to the inside. And you can see that it really, the bag really extends out, so I mean, we're gonna get all 40 liters out of this bag. All right, now let's go ahead and put the ICU unit in. Easy for, for me to say. Now, I know the cover folds behind it. And bear with me, I've never actually done this before. So flip it over and then slide it in. I've been very curious as to how easy this is really gonna go in. Let's see. Damn, that went in pretty easy. And there it is. Man, that is awesome. Fits like a glove. There's also, on the inside of the back panel, there's um, these little holders. I'm not 100% sure exactly what you would put in there, but the option's there if you ever find anything. And there's also another zipper pocket here that you can put other small various bits and pieces. Then let's go ahead and just zip it all up. Move these shoulder straps out of the way. Also on the back panel, it's got nice channels to kind of create um, ventilation to kind of keep a lot of that heat off of your back. So you can tell it definitely kind of filled it out, but there's still plenty of room to put other items. And here is the top with the actual panel or with the uh, the ICU unit in. So there's still room to put whatever else you need in here. You can definitely put jackets, some food. Now F-Stop also makes an accessory called a gatekeeper, which uh, I believe you can attach here. And there are additional straps. So you could, you could strap a, a tent or a sleeping bag to the bottom just to really increase the overall capacity of this pack. Um, this is not a pack that you're gonna go out in the field for a week camping with, but it is a perfect bag for a two, maybe three day adventure if you really wanted to push it. And there's tons of other, I'm, every time I look at this, I keep finding other bits and pieces on here. This looks like um, uh, ice axe or a trekking pole attachments. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Loop it through here, attach it up top. There's another one down here as well. There's also additional um, D-rings here on the straps. It also looks like little pockets here that you could put um, some kind of maybe energy bar or gel pack in there as well. Also harness adjustment straps here that you can adjust the, the harness just depending on the weight of the overall load just to increase the uh, comfortability factor. But overall, I am super pleased and I'm really excited to um, really dig into this bag, fill it up with gear, find out all the other little features and benefits to this. Now, this setup was $369. The bag itself was $269. The ICU, of course, I mentioned earlier, was $100. Overall, it's um, it's actually comparable as far as uh, other 40 liter packs out there. So I think the value is definitely there. The quality is for sure there. And uh, Man, am I excited about this. This is fantastic. So if you're in the market for a mid-sized photography bag, definitely check out F-Stop's Antenna lineup. I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you found this video useful or entertaining, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. God, that feels good. And there it is from the front. From one side, from the back side, from the other side and the front again. And one feature I failed to mention earlier is this emergency whistle. These things never work.